Hi guys! So just let me know if you can hear me. So give me a wink if you can hear me guys. Hello. So let me know in the chat if you can hear me. Ah, oh, great, Shirley. Thanks. Hi. Hey, Ingrid. Hi, Linda. Great. Hey, Ingrid. It looks like, yeah. There's some more people turning up. I had um, a few problems with my lights. <laughs> um, they weren't working, or one of them wasn't anyhow. So I hope you can see me now and I see things good. Because uh, the light that I have on my uh, <clears throat> right side is gone. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to start... Um, I have a whole bunch of different colors here today because I just uh, was painting and I have some leftovers and I'm just going to show you what colors that I started with anyhow. Um, I think uh, they're not too crazy so I'll be able to show you what's what. Um, I'm using permanent red violet which is uh, these three. That's with black, white and gray. Um, and I'm using a turquoise blue. That's these two. That's with gray and that's with white or a light, light gray. I think that's blended with. Um, and I have an orange, I think, or don't I? Yeah, I have orange up here. And that's just with white or light gray too. I think I put light gray in there. And uh, that's that and then I use the turquoise blue and the yellow to create the green. So what I'm working with uh, are two sets of complementary colors and in Norwegian they call it a fideklang and in English I think it's a um, hmm, let me get my color wheel because I can't remember in English. Um, Tetrad. All right, so let me show you. So these are the colors that I'm using. I'm using the blue green, the red violet, uh, the yellow green, and the red orange. So these two are complementary, and so are these. And that's the tetrad, the rectangle. Hi, Mika. Nice to see you. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, pull out some mark making things. Let's see, I have a couple of ink tenses and I think I wanna use these acrylic markers and maybe some charcoal. I think that's what I'm gonna use. Hi, Diane. Let's start with the charcoal and just see what happens. I broke it. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, easier today than it was the last time because now I've been painting all day. So I have, I feel like I'm warmed up a bit and it's not as hard to just do. All 
All right, we're gonna leave that like that. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Linda. I've been at it all day, so that's why. Or at least for hours. Um, I don't know if I can use this. Let's see if it works. Yeah, okay. I thought I needed a pencil sharpener because it didn't look like that was any tip to it. So I'm just going nuts. All right, and let's bring in some of the orange too. Yeah, that'll do it. Hi, Angela. Nice to see you again. And I have this green, I don't know if it works. Yeah, it works. Oh, it works really good. <laughs> so I just went nuts. It looks like uh, my granddaughter made it. And that's fine. I don't mind. I'm just gonna put down uh, a bit of gesso too. So I have uh, some gesso to work with because I always like to put gesso over my marks um let's see and now you might see why i like to put gesso over my marks because <laughs> when i have like the wet uh water soluble ink tents um it fixates it And, um, oh, all the green. Happy mistake. That's what we're going to call that. And I'm just going to make those marks bigger. All right. Oh, guys, I forgot my water. Let me go get that. I went out and I filled it up, but I didn't bring it over there with me. All right. Let's see. Oh on the other side all right we need some paper too I think so I can try to brush off and let's see what we can do with this so that's still wet and I'm just like smearing it out so that I can do some more work on this without drawing it. All right. So I'm going to get some of the green, I think, because I had green there already. Just bring in a lighter tone and um, let's put some here too. Just pulling the back of my uh, paintbrush to make marks. Yeah. Mm, let's see what else. How about we use this? Bring in some of the purple. There's a lot of water on here because um, I was afraid it was going to dry on me. So we'll have to work with what we have. And 
think a bit down here. And actually, I think I'm just gonna use the paintbrush on that. Or at least some of it. Yeah, let's fill that circle with the purple. Hi, Melanie. Ah, oh, that's all right. Hey, Annie. Oh, nice to see you guys. I'm starting to you know, recognize everybody now. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, I'm gonna come in with some of the turquoise. And I think I'm going to put it at the top. It's a bit dark. I wish it was lighter. So I'm not going to use that much of it up there. I want the lighter color up there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put... Uh, I'll just put some gesso in there. Yeah, and let's see what happens. And now this is wet, so I think I'm just gonna dry it, give it a quick dry. Melanie is really uh, into art, I guess. <laughs> Two classes at one time. Hey, Tana! Again, I'm going to come back in with more of the charcoal because I think I just want uh, marks in the paint. And I'm not too worried about what happened, you know, what kind of marks I make or anything because I know most of them are going to disappear. that light turquoise a bit too dark and you see how dark it dries when um, uh, the acrylics are like they go really dark on you when uh, they dry so if you think they're like dark when you're painting with them <laughs> then brighten them up because they're only going to get darker And I'm gonna put some here too, but I'm not gonna, now I'm not gonna dip my brush in the paint because I want it really, really light. it with some of that green. I really like that combination of those two like cool colors. Um, let's see what else could we bring in here. I think I need some of the really dark tones. Let's try with that really dark green. I think I'll pull that all the way down. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I really like how that dark green makes those other colors like pop. I'm like, oh, where do I put it? How about down here? All right. Thanks, Angela, Diane. We'll see where it goes, though. We're not finished yet. <laughs> All right, I have a pencil. I'm going to try making marks with that. And then just pulling it out into the page. And a good way is just to hold the tip because when you hold the tip of your pencil or whatever you're making marks with, you have no control. And that's what we're looking for. When you have uh, zero control, those are the marks that are the best. All right, let's see. I need some of the purple, maybe the dark purple too. How about we do some thicker lines with that? Maybe even more. even thicker. Let's see. And when you put dark on dark, you want you want to put a good layer so that you can see what's going on. It's probably hard for you to see on camera, but if I bring it up, you can see that it, there's a little contrast there. All right, and then, um, yeah, and I think, a bit more even and then put a bit of it here too yeah all right um Maybe some of that mid-tone as well. So now I'm trying to work towards the middle uh, so I can, I, you know, because I want to fill the middle up too. And I, I, I don't know why, but I often will work like from the outside and in. I don't know why I do that. It's just something that I do. Um, but the middle part usually just fills itself up. I usually don't um, do too much to get it going. It just happens, whatever. All right. We'll do that there. Um, I'm just going to make that a tad bigger. And do that a bit bigger too. A larger area. Yeah, that works. That's true, Angela. Okay. Um, I still have this gorgeous color and I need the greens in here too. Even though I do have some of that green up there, I could use a, a really, even a lighter version of that green would probably look gorgeous. So I'm just going to use gesso for that too. And Let's see. I 
I think this is turning out a bit dark. So we're going to probably help it a bit with the light green. Yeah, something like that. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the paper I have in my hand and just pull it out a bit. I kind of like the green and the blue together. And I think a quick dry again, so I'm going to make some noise. I think I'm going to use some of that really light I should have brought more paintbrushes over here I don't have that many <laughs> so I'm having to dry them off all right let's see I think that uh, light peach color Maybe bring it up a bit. Yeah, I like that. And you see now that the paper is dry, I can like easily paint over the other colors. And that's why it's so important to dry your, your paper or your canvas before you start, uh, before you keep working. I mean, we're so impatient, at least I am, that what happens is it just all turns into mud if you don't, if you don't stop to dry it. And I don't know, maybe a bit, hmm. I have some of it down here. I'm just trying to think if it's like balanced enough. Um, yeah. How about something like that? All right. bringing some of that gesso in and I'm not going to use my brayer I think I'm going to use my palette knife and see what happens with that and See where it takes me. So I'm going to spray some water on there just so that I could uh, yeah but now the the bottom layer is coming through and I don't want that so I'm just gonna come back in with some of that peach on my finger. Now 
Now I'm starting my finger work. <laughs> Once I start, I don't stop. I'm like, I love working with my fingers, especially in my art journal. So you guys are going quiet on me again today. What have you been up to all week? I like that light green. I was thinking when I was painting today that I actually like that color so much. I don't know why I don't use it more. I should use it a lot more. <laughs> Me either, Linda. That's for sure. Um, I think I want more of the white further down. And maybe I'll bring in my brayer anyhow, just a bit. I really like what's going on up here but I think I need to I don't know do something so that that white isn't so pronounced I'm not sure so I'm just blending guys not and it definitely needs more marks I don't know what's under here if that yeah that's a good one Oh, where are you? Annie, you're in, uh, in uh, Holland, right? Yeah. My daughter called me, it's her birthday today, and she called me and she's in London and it's 30 there too. And she was like, oh my God, Ma, I have to move today. <laughs> you're in Belgium, right? Thanks, Angela. Yeah, cause she was like all upset with <laughs> having to move uh, her birthday and oh my god she was like no all right just putting some marks in here because I feel like something's not right on this side and I think I want that side to go higher than that just to balance it out yeah I like that. Ah, uh, thanks, Mika. Gardening installed new beds. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, but I don't know if I like it all the way over. Maybe I should like break it up or something. I'm not sure. I like the white texture too, but let's give it a, let's just try and see what happens if I like break it up with the green a bit. So I'm just using a wet brush now. I'm not, I don't have any color on there or anything. I just, I'm just using what I have on the paper. Yeah, how about that, guys? Is that better? Aw, uh, thanks, Linda. She probably will. They, they were forced to move out of their uh, apartment because uh, they just bought it like a year ago, two years ago. Uh, but something, was, something went wrong when they built it, so everybody has to move out for six months. She's so mad about it. But what are you going to do? 
I feel like these three lines are like the same. Yeah, I like that. And something's too dark over here and I need to break up the green over here too. So maybe that purple again. See if I can uh, bring it all the way over. Hey, Michelle. So that's my other daughter. <laughs> I was just talking about one and the other one shows up. Um, and how about some of that light purple on the other side too? I mean, at least more pronounced than it is. Yeah, that helped a bit, but I still need more up here. And I don't know if I should pull it all the way up or not. Let's give it a try. Yeah, I could even go further with that. I know you guys can hardly see it, but I'll try and show you. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Make a few of them a little bit bigger and longer. Yeah, not bad. And now we need uh, something else down here because now it's way too light compared to up here and this is still a bit too dark I think so what do we want to use I'm loving the orange under that purple that's a nice combination maybe we should put some more of that clear orange over there uh, how if I just use my uh, ink tents and my small brush and some of that gesso. Yeah, I like the orange with the purple. That's a new combination for me. I haven't used too much orange and purple together, but they're actually pretty. I even have a drop of it here with paint. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking that. That helped a bit. Anyhow, yeah. And we need it one more spot. I think I'm just going to put a drop of that orange out on the, I'll just use my brush. I don't need much. Because I think maybe up here too. Ah, not sure. Yeah, that'll work. I want to change the shape though. Because now I feel like it's floating alone there. Nah, I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Let's just get it off of there. You know what? I have these lines here. Um, let's see. I wish I had a pencil sharpener. I don't have it here, but 
I'm looking at these orange lines that are already here. And why not use what we already have? I'm just going to use a thin brush with water on it. See what happens if we like it or not. Yeah. But still, we need more in the middle. Um, so I'm just using charcoal now. To see if I could uh, get something going on in the middle here. Nah, I don't like that. The three like going in the same direction. Better when they're broken up. could we bring in here? Maybe some more of, I'm thinking we have the green here. Maybe we need a darker, the mid-tone green. have three of them there and something is still missing in the middle I'm still not sure what I'm just going to go with my gut feeling. And let's see if we can find a brush to clean off. And my gut is telling me blue. I got once more of that blue up here. I never like when a color just like stops. I like <laughs> I like them to like just blend into each other. At least at the top there. Yeah, I like that a lot. But I'm going to come in with more of this too and see if I can break up a bit of the line work. Because I don't want my lines to look like they're planned or anything. And then a bit more of that orange. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm starting to like this. Um, more of the charcoal. And let's just dry a bit of it off not so harsh. Lines and that orange, oh yeah. 
I like that orange too. I love this because that brightened the whole area up, right? Yeah, it does. And that's the whole point, guys, because when you have all these muted colors and then you save that uh, saturated color and just use it in one spot, it really makes it look delicious, doesn't it? All right, I have some stencils. And I wanted to use a stencil today. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe over that purple, the dark purple. And since I like that orange on it, maybe I could bring some of that orange over that purple. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. Just gonna use a small brush though. Um, Is that almost the same anyhow? No, not really. I need more of the clear orange. Put that in there. Yeah, that's better, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's give it a try. I don't want, I'm trying to find a spot where there's not too big marks. I'm going to bring it right up to the other orange bit that's there. Yeah. Not bad. How about we put... Alright, we have it going on there. How about we put some of it up here too? Just a few dots like. Over that orange that's already there. That didn't really do anything, did it? Uh, uh, not crazy. Not crazy about it. So I'm just going to dry it off. decision up here. <laughs> I think I want a really light green like I have in the background there. I don't like those orange marks after all so I'm just gonna remove them. Cover them up. I think there's a bit too much going on up here. And it's so weird because when I uh, paint like this in my journal, it's like I use these small brushes and I think uh, like so much more than I do when I work on canvas. It's weird. And how about we brighten up these white lines? And now they turn light green. Bringing it further down. Yeah, I like the colors too, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that much more to it. Um, and whatever I do is just going to be like, I don't know detail work so I think it looks pretty good the way it is actually
Yeah, I'm liking it. You like these? Yeah, and I, I, so do I. I love that combination with the purple and the orange. I have to do more of that. <laughs> and this is what I'm telling you. This is why art journaling is so great. Because all of a sudden you see color combinations that you love and you're like, oh, and it's, I don't know, it's inspiring. I think so too, Linda. I like it. Um, these marks are a little bit weird uh, for me and I think there might be a bit much going on but I, I still like it the way it is I don't know I don't think I want to do any more to it so yeah and I painted a whole painting with these uh, colors today guys but it looks nothing like this <laughs> and that has something to do with the balance right because uh, my painting has more, a lot more of the dark tones going on and I'm not using that purple and the orange together in the same way. So it's weird how the same colors can look so different in two different paintings. So, all right. Thanks for joining me again tonight. Aw, oh, thanks Shirley. I better put on my glasses. I'm sitting here reading, <laughs> reading your comments without my glasses. I'm going to probably call somebody something wrong. Yeah, I think so too, Mieke. And that's because one side is lower than the other. And that's, uh, it's an unbalanced balance, if I could call it that. You're welcome, Ingrid. Thanks, Anne. And Annie, thank you too. So, oh, thanks, Shirley. You're so welcome. It's so nice having you guys here. And I mean, you guys are showing up like every Wednesday, so now I'm starting to get to know you, and it's nice. Oh, thanks, Linda. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think, uh, yeah, I like it. Little funky piece. Yeah, that's right, Annie, tell them. <laughs> Go paint. <laughs> Go pull your paints out, guys, and have fun. Thanks, Anne. I'm so glad you guys like it. All right, then. I'm just going to log off. I'm totally pooped today, so. <laughs> You're so welcome, Tana. Oh, that's so... Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Angela, because the process is actually what's important. It'll always get finished somehow, uh, but doing and, you know, just enjoying yourself while you do it, that's, that's the best. All right. Good night. Have a great night, and I hope the weekend gets here really quick for all of us. <laughs> all right. I'll see you next Wednesday, guys. Bye. Ah, oh, you're so welcome.